Hey everyone, welcome back. I am Jen Sorensen and we are kicking off Disney Sidekicks Month with the one and only Flounder who I love so much. And we'll talk about why I love Flounder in the video. This is actually a repeat soap for me in that I've made one very early in my soap making days and I recreate it in this video for you to see exactly how I made it. Why don't we jump in, check it out, and then I'll meet you right back here. I think I'm going to keep these on maybe all day just because I love them so much. You might see a costume or two from me that I have worn with this fabulous fishy friend in it. But yeah, why don't we just jump in and check out how I made this fabulous flounder soap. Okay, friends, let's get into this. I have my lye water here, which as always has a little bit of sodium lactate. And that's just a, like a salt hardener in a way, usually derived from corn or beets. So it's, it's a nice natural way to harden all of our soaps here. So we'll get that in. My oil base has just a touch of kaolin clay. And that's going to help with both like silkiness of the bar and for the scent to really stay strong. I'm going to blend this up and we'll get into making our flounder soap. <laughs> All right, that came together pretty well and we're going to keep blending it. So I'm not going to overdo it too much. I want to look at what I have here in my container because I do want to try and have a little bit of an even distribution here. This was one of the very first soaps that I made that was inspired by Disney. I'm like trying to look. Uh, all right, we're calling that even. Okay. So we're calling even and I made this and we're going to try and recreate this soap here. So fortunately I've kept records of everything that I do and I am going to use that to my advantage hopefully. So you got to do some layering and in there. I've got some beautiful blues combined and I'll uh, try to, I know one is twilight and the other one is a blue neon. Let's see if I can kind of use that to get everything out, which I'm trying to remember the name of it and I can't right now. Blue Shocker, maybe? Is that what it is? Yes, Twilight and Blue Shocker. So we've got that in there. Move this to the side and wipe up wherever I just put that. And then in my container here, which I will pulse up first, I have a little bit of Brambleberry Yellow and some Mad Micah's Tennis Ball Breaker. This is what I, these are the combinations that I used last time and I really like the colors. So hopefully this works well here. Okay, beautiful. That might be a little too neon, but you know what? We're going with it. We're going with it. Okay, and then our fragrance. You know, Flounder, he's not a guppy, he's, he's kind of a child in a way. So I thought sour watermelon candy would be this fantastic scent for Flounder. So I'm gonna add half into my yellow here and half into my blue. And I'm gonna lightly pulse these up, starting with the yellow because that's lighter, just to get it incorporated. <laughs> And I like to pulse my neons because they can, it can be a little challenging. All right, I'm not even gonna bother cleaning that because it's going into the darker color. All right. Okay, this color is beautiful. It's definitely a little bit lighter than it shows on camera. But yeah, it's really pretty. Okay, and I'm just trying to thicken it up a little bit because we're gonna be doing some layering and that is always a little bit tricky. 
This may involve having multiple um, pauses here and there. So again, I'll talk to you about what I do to clean. So I have my microfiber towel, and this is just the first step, and I wipe things down. Then it goes into the sink and it gets wiped down. Anytime I have any sort of soap on it, and that just makes the cleaning process a lot faster. Okay, first things first, I'm gonna scrape down the sides here of this yellow, just so that we get all of that stuff that's kind of on the edge here incorporated so it doesn't look white. Okay, excellent. Okay, this yellow is looking pretty good. I'm happy with that. And the yellow I find, especially with that brambleberry, it's a beautiful yellow, but it does have a tendency of fading. So that's gonna go off to the side. And now we've got this beautiful blue here. So I did get some air bubbles in there. So let me try and tap some of those out right now and stir that. Why don't we, We've got our brambleberry mold, and I've had some questions about this mold. When I say brambleberry mold, I mean that I bought it from the company Brambleberry and the accompanying silicone liner. So we're gonna pour in a layer of this blue. Let's see, hope that we can get about half in here. That looks good. And I'm happy that this is actually starting to thicken up a little bit. Good, 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 good. Okay, excellent. What I'm going to do, instead of dirtying another spatula, is I will wipe this down and then head into the yellow while this settles just a little bit. And I think I'm gonna push that off to the side. And let's go over to our yellow. So this is one of the first soaps I made and I'm remaking it here because the angles were weird, everything was just strange. So I figured I'd remake it. You guys are enjoying it. it goes really nice with the Ariel and Ursula soap, so why not? I love that scent. It smells so good. Okay. And I felt like this was kind of an easier soap to make. We're getting a little bit firm. Here's what I think I'm gonna do. Use my spatula to break the fall and I'm gonna pour very, very slow. And this is called flooding. Okay. So I, I've told this story before, but I don't know if I've posted it in that Flounder, I remember having a stuffed flounder growing up. Loved him so much. Okay, that's good. We're gonna kind of slowly put a little bit more on top to complete this layer. Okay, this is working pretty good. And I've got plenty for the top. That worked good. All right, we're gonna kind of flatten it a little bit. I'm okay if it's not totally flat because, you know, layers aren't flat on fish. Just like we talked about with Nemo is, you know, they're not totally flat. But anyway, loved, loved, loved flounder growing up. Okay, yeah, this blue is getting nice and thick. So I am happy to go ahead and do a little bit more of the pour on here because that's pretty good. This is gonna be hard to, okay, why don't I do this? Scoop a little bit and just kind of lightly layer. Yeah, this works. I think these colors are so distinctive. But anyway, going back to my level flounder, I actually dressed up like him in a Run Disney weekend. There was a um, Chef Louis theme. It was during Wine and Dine, which is themed around the Food and Wine Festival. The race is there. So I dressed up because it was a Little Mermaid themed, I dressed up as Flounder. And that was one of my favorite race costumes I've done. I just love the look of it, how distinct you can tell 
that it is flounder with the colors and it was just so much fun. I loved it. I miss those races so much. I miss racing a lot. Okay, this is going pretty good. I think I can keep going here. And hopefully, hopefully the, this looks pretty similar to what I got last time with the layers. You know, the proportions may be a little bit different. Maybe some layers are thicker than others in this one. And who knows? I can tell you, it smells amazing. It really smells amazing. Oh, yeah, I just thought the candy element to this, the watermelon candy would be good because flounder. I mean, they're all kids in that, it's, I swear. Except for her father, King Triton, and Sebastian are like the only ones with common sense. And when you watch it for the first time, you're like, I'm not a child. Yeah, you tell him. No, yeah, you really are a child, girl. I'm 16. I remember seeing that movie in theaters for the first time. I was, this was, what did that came out in 89, end of 89. And I saw it in January. You know, in December, I saw it in January in theaters. First movie I ever remember, maybe the first one I ever saw in theaters, first one I remember going to a movie theater and seeing. And I'm just trying to really scrape everything out here. All right, let's kind of see what we can do about A, cleaning up my messiness here. You want to cover that yellow there. Get in there. That's why I wear gloves do my thing. Okay, and then let me, what do I got here? Let's grab, there we go. Popsicle stick, using that to clean up the edges. Okay. You'll be able to see this side. I feel like this is a nice job cleaning the edges there. Love that. Okay. Yeah, it's the first movie I remember ever seeing in theaters. And I do just want to kind of tap this down to flatten it a little bit. Okay. We'll get that in the corner there. Excellent. So I was probably, where I was going with that was, I was probably maybe six. Yeah, if it came out and I saw it in 1995 or six, something. I don't know, I'm trying to do math early in the morning and I'm not here for that. Okay, let's see how this yellow is doing. We are pretty firm. So we're pretty firm here, which is nice. It's probably gonna be the, one of the thicker layers, but that's okay. And we're just gonna kind of gently place this layer down on top of the blue. Looks like we're not displacing anything. Do you guys remember your first movie in theaters? because that's the first one I remember. And so I'd be curious to know which one you remember and what you thought about that experience. Okay, here we go. Looking great here. And we're gonna really take our time to try and get everything out of this container. Yeah, I miss, I miss going to the theater right now, even though I really only ever go like once or twice a year with family, but it's just the ability to go. Our local, our closest theater closed, so for good, which is a bummer, but hopefully things will uh, resume normalcy sooner or later and we can go see some great stuff in theaters. Maybe it'll uh, spark my interest to go do that more than I have in the past, simply because we can. You know, you never realize what you have until you don't have it. Sometimes even essentials like soap like this is like you don't realize what you have until you can't get it. Hence the toilet paper shortage last year, which I just had to laugh at. It was funny. Okay, good enough. Let's get that in there. Let's tap this down a little bit. We're gonna kind of flatten things out here. All right, this is settled up. This fragrance oil and the thickness, everything was perfect to what I needed for this particular soap. It worked out really, really well. Okay, let's see now. Let's just clean up the edge just a touch. And I'll clean up the edge even more too when I package it, but 
just want to clean this up just a little bit. Okay, excellent. And now for the finishing touch here, we have some sea salt that we're just going to sprinkle a little bit down the middle. So I have some in my hand here. I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit down the middle. Just so you kind of get that oceanic feel with flounder. Okay, I got some puddling there. Whatever. Bunch is going to come off when you cut it. I'm going to have to cut this on its side too. Okay, I'll get some right here. Excellent. All right, I'm going to be really curious to see how these layers turned out because the first time I made this soap was in like June or July. And we're now in March as I make this. So it's been almost like eight, nine months since I made this. Let's see how it uh, turned out recreating it. And where, there it is. I'm gonna say, where did my uh, rubbing alcohol go? Just to prevent a little bit of soda ash. All right, the sides are tad messy, but you know what? We're gonna go with it. I think it's gonna work just fine. And if you can't tell, I have a new tripod that came in between the filming of this particular soap, the making and the cutting, and that may be a lot longer than normal, uh, just because life and everything. <laughs> but anyway, let us cut into this and see how it looks. All right. Yep, I can tell I definitely waited a little while because this is a lot firmer than normal but it's still cutting nicely. This is gonna be a big thud, I can tell. Woo, there we go. Well, there's the first one. And also, if you can't tell, it's a very blah, dreary day. So the coloring of this is a little off, but it is what it is. There we go. So I'd say we look pretty similar to the original. We've got a little bit, it's like not totally straight and that's okay. And we've got a little bit of glare from my lights because again, it's very blah dreary. Scent of this is incredible, loving it. Yeah. So why don't I, I'm like trying to figure out where do I place this with this new tripod here. Why don't I check in with you really soon to see how this set holds up, which I already know it holds up pretty good. That blue kind of blends in. Are you ready? Are you ready? Here it is. And I actually, I think this works really well with these ears, which I got off Etsy here. Um, I'll see if I can find the shop where I got them and I'll link them if I can find it. But here is the soap. The watermelon candy scent is fantastic. I love it so much. And it kind of has that spring summer like vibe, which we all need that right now as we're starting to get into spring and summer and kind of give us a little bit of fun. Um, but yeah, I love the layers on this, how they're a bunch of layers, but they're not quite totally perfectly even. And I think that's what I love about it is that flounder and all of the fish, like their lines aren't perfectly straight. So it, it's kind of fun to see the little subtle variations in this. And you got a little bit of the sea salt on top for the fishiness to it. These will fall off a little bit after a couple washes, no big deal. But yeah, I hope you liked seeing this layering process. My question to you is, do you like this style where I've got these different layers or do you like some of the drop swirls and different mixing that I do in a lot of my other soaps? Do you wanna see more layering like this? Let me know, post a comment down below. I hope this inspired you to get out there, create something beautiful, but until then, have a fantastic day. I will see you real soon with another Disney Sidekick soap and plenty of other videos, hopefully.